love you too. It's your girl Tasha coming at you guys with a huge collective spring haul. I'm going to show you guys what I am incorporating in my closet for spring. I have some amazing staple pieces. We got some stuff from ASO, some stuff from H&M, some stuff from Farm Rio, some stuff from Hanifa. And I'm going to style everything up for you guys. Everything that is available will be linked below. I did find a dupe. Well, not a dupe, but something that's comparable to this dress. Um, It is sold out. It's sold out the day that I purchased it. So, girl, this is a must-have. Keep an eye out on it on ASOS. That's where I got the dress from. So, if you're new, hey, boo. My name is Tasha. I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Mainly fashion. If you are OG, thank you for continuously holding your girl down. Don't forget to follow me at Tasha.bstyles on Instagram. And let's get into it because I'm serving the looks i'm serving the girls so you could tell i haven't even given you the whole outfit yet i haven't even given you the whole outfit yet but she's ready okay let's get into hey, it you guys this is the first item i want to show you guys this bottega green red knit dress from asos before we get into the breakdown of the outfit i forgot to say this in the intro i am wearing shapewear with this dress it does require shapewear i know that you guys are used to me doing my hauls and styling videos without shapewear but it is that time of the month for me she is bloated and i don't need y'all seeing my diaper okay so give me grace in this video because you guys know i don't normally do the shapewear thing but anyway this green maxi dress is so fire. It has two slits on the side. This is by the brand I saw at first. So I have it in 18. This is how stretchy it is. Again, this item sold out the same day that I purchased it. And it has like a collar. So when you go on ASOS, you can sign up for the, the option to notify me. But I noticed from me shopping ASOS a little bit more frequently that they hardly restock. So I did link another cute green dress. It's not this shade of green, but it's another green dress in the style of the dress. is another dress that's like very much on trend for this spring. So I think you guys will like it. It's still from ASOS. But I decided to style this with my chunky boots. This Bottega Green is very much on trend still for spring. I paid it with my Chanel bag and my little Baker Boys hat. I think this is so cute. And this is keeping the look feminine, but a little grunge. Because you know, spring is like a little cold and warm. So, how do you guys feel about this dress? It's definitely giving body. It's definitely giving body. It's definitely giving she's that girl it's definitely giving fashion and it's a simple green dress so i didn't have this color green in my wardrobe i've been looking for this grass green to have and i'm not a big dress person but i'm trying to get into wearing dresses so i feel like i would kill two birds for one stone with this so how do you guys feel about this look let's get into the next look i'm going to try to give you guys a couple of looks per outfit the only other thing that i would do with this dress is if i wanted to dress it up i would probably do my white slouchy boots so that's the only thing i would do with this like a dress is pretty much one of those outfits that is just a one and done type of look but the other pieces i'm going to try to give you guys a couple of different looks with them okay you guys we just coming out the gate with the bangers we just coming out the gate with the bangers. Let me get y'all full, full fit. Then we go over the details. Let me come up close so you can see it. Let me put my glasses on. Okay, so. I picked up this cardigan from Farm Rio. It has the Toucan Sam, just a red cardigan with this big print and some color. I thought this cardigan was so cute. A lot of you guys want to shop Farm Rio, 
but you guys are a little skeptical because Farm Rio is not a plus size store. However, I feel like their knitwear is very forgiving. You guys know I picked up a sweatshirt from Farm Rio before in an extra large, which I was swimming in it. So I did decide to downsize in a large with this cardigan. As you guys can see, it's still very roomy as a large. Let me button it up so you guys can see how much room I have in it. So I would say for Farm Rio's knitwear, it's definitely plus size approved. So this is a large, as you guys can see, I have a lot of room in this. This is how much room I have in the arms. And then this is how stretchy it is. So to my plus size ladies that's interested in Farm Rio, their knitwear, you can slide, okay? So I paired it with this black basic tank top that you guys have seen a bunch of times from H&M. I have on those black stirrup leggings that I hold for you guys back in the fall. My yellow mules, my statement belt to give the illusion of a one piece. So I would wear this on a solo date or I would wear this to brunch or like a rooftop like brunch early dinner situation. This outfit is definitely an attention grabber. I feel like it's giving retro and modern. I feel like it's a little 80s retro with the modern twist. I got this bag from Zara. Everything will be linked below. So how do you guys feel about this look? This look is definitely going to grab people's attention. Men and women. Like women are going to be like, where did she get that from? What is that? And the dude's gonna be like, oh yeah, she's fly. She's fly. And I decided to pull out my yellow muse because the whole cardigan is red, but I feel like red and pink is close. Blue is dark, so I feel like I will pull out the yellow. So, how do you guys feel about the cardigan? Now, tell me in the comments, girlfriends tell me in the comments if we was texting and i was like hey girl what you think about this cardigan i think this would be a bomb date night look tell me if your first thought seeing this cardigan no styling just off the website would you be like date night like girl what you gonna do with that cardigan mm, i don't know <laughs> but i'm gonna show you guys a couple of different other ways how to work this cardigan through your wardrobe okay so let's get into the next look. Okay, so this is the second shirt that I picked up from Farm Rio. It is a button down shirt. Very flowy, very colorful, has a lot of print. This shirt I got in an extra large. It's 100% viscose. I'm going to get into the details. Let me give you guys the spin. So I still have on the stirrup leggings again. This is another retro look, like an 80s look or early 90s look like when the men used to wear like the party shirts back in the 90s so and the shirt does have a matching pair of shorts they are like a dolphin hem i'm considering going back to get those also they have a jumpsuit in the same material which i want to try my hand at the jumpsuit so like I said, this shirt is 100% viscose, and I got it in the extra large, which is the largest size on Farm Rio. As you guys can see, how much room I have in this shirt. So, Farm Rio, I feel like, is very forgiving with their materials. We'll have to see the jumpsuits. I, I'm pretty sure I can fit their dresses, but I really want to see if I can fit the jumpsuit. But this shirt has so much color, so much print. So if you are a colorful, bold person, you would love Farm Rio. If you're a person that don't know how to really dip into color, then I would say pick up a piece from Farm Rio and you can really work this a bunch of different ways. I'm gonna give you guys another option of how I would style this dress to kind of tone it. I say dress, to style this shirt to kind of tone it down if this is too much for you. But I love this shirt. 
I love the shirt. I love the look. Let me give you guys one more spin. So let's get into the second look with this shirt. Okay, you guys. So this is the other way that I will wear this shirt. This is giving very much Miami, little Cuba, little Havana <laughs> vibes. Okay, I have on those American Eagle boyfriend jeans still have one of the mules i just ended up tying up the shirt and added a fedora so and i will still do the black purse so and this is how it looks without the hat so it doesn't look so vacation vibes so let me know in the comments if you like the shirt with the jeans or do you like it paired better with um the stirrup leggings now let me show you guys what the cardigan looks like with the jeans and then we're going to get into the next pieces okay you guys so this is what the cardigan looks like with some jeans and just a black tank top still will have the yellow news i will probably always wear my yellow mules because i feel like it just brings brings out the cardigan even more so you can wear it open with the tank top mules or this is how it looks like button up you can also do like a little off the shoulder situation okay and then the car you drapes in the back so let me know how you guys feel about that now let's get into the next pieces okay, guys, so this is the next look i have on this taupe blazer from h&m and these olive pants from asos these sandals are old from zara but this is like a retro 90s look a play on men's fashion i would do these shoes to have trend and make it a little bit more feminine but i love these pants i love this blazer i love this color combination so let me give you guys a full spin and then we'll break it down okay you guys so this blazer is a double-breasted blazer from H&M. I have it in an extra large. The material is 90%, 96% polyester and 4% um, elastane. So if you do decide to pick up this blazer, be careful with this. Make sure you don't have any oils on your hand. I wouldn't spray perfume directly on this. You guys know how easily it is for polyester and satin to stain. So just be mindful of that if you decide to pick up this blazer. I feel like it gives like a tailored look to it, but I love the color. I love the fact that it has black buttons. Now let's get into these pants from ASOS. So you guys know if you OG, you guys know that I love wild leg pants with pleating and with the tapered waist. So to my apple shaped girls that are new, these are a pair of pants that you will want to have in your wardrobe. Again, pleating on apple shape, it kind of takes away the fact of how round we are in our midsection. The pleating helps elongate us. And then by the pants being a tapered waist, it gives us definition. As you guys can see, she is looking very, very snatched. Now these are a pair of flowy wide leg pants. Now these pants I plan on dressing up and dressing down. I could do crop tops with this, which I'm gonna give you some more looks with these pants. So you guys can see how you can style them up a few different ways. But I 
love these pants i love the color this is another color that's on trend for this spring and summer this is like an olive but it's like an olive with like a yellow undertone so it's going to go with a lot in your spring summer wardrobe so how do you guys feel about these pants oh i would recommend i got these in the 18 i always have my measurements down below i would say that you can size down a little bit i have like a little gaping in the back i feel like i would have got a 16 it's a bit more snatched here and maybe not as flowy maybe like that so 16 if you want it to be a closer fit 18 if you want it to be a flowy fit if you're my size but i love these pants and i always love when the with the pleated pants when they put the pockets in the diagonal both in the diagonal line because that also helps give the illusion of hip so how do you guys feel about these And let me show you guys what these pants look like with a crop top. There you go. So I pulled out one of my neutral color crop tops just so you can see how high waisted this is, how flat the front is, how snatched the waist is. So this is why I like these type of pants. I don't even need shapewear with these. So it still gives you the same effect. So this is another cute like spring summer date night or brunch date now i had to tuck my shape wear because it's a full body shaper so don't mind that and i would definitely wear a strapless bra if i was to wear this out i would still do these shoes to tie in this and this is another look so and you also could do this with like a let me see You can also do this with a white button up if you didn't want to do a crop top or if you're not comfortable with the crop top just by itself like this is a whole 90s modern woman vibe is giving very much still that mask femme is giving expensive elevated chic you can tie it in a knot Okay. So you can do a lot with these pants because it's giving. It's giving. So how do you guys feel so far? Let's get into some more looks, y'all. So this is the next piece, which is this yellow blazer that I picked up from Eloquy in a size 18. Now on the website, it looks more like a canary yellow, like a really pale light yellow, which that's why I always be skeptical about purchasing blazers or anything from Eloquy because the edits versus what you really get always be off. And sometimes it could be a good off or a bad off. This one happened to be a good off because I didn't really want that light color yellow but I wanted a yellow blazer. So I'm glad that this is deeper. This is more so like a yellow with a green undertone to it, like more so like a chartreuse. So I just put it on top of those same pants and the crop top just to show you guys that this works a lot of different ways. I'm gonna show you another way how to style this blazer. So how do you guys feel about the blazer? As you guys can see, these pants are moving through the wardrobe things. These pants also work with the cardigan, which I'm gonna show you guys how to make this work with these pants as well too. So how do you guys feel about the blazer? Okay, let's get into it. Okay, yeah, so this look screams 
spring. Now, I showed you guys this blazer in my dating tips video. I gave you guys a sneak peek of this mint blazer from Eloquy. I got it in a 18. Now, I told you guys that the cognac one that I have, I downsized and I went and got a 16 because on the website, Eloquy says oversized blazer. So I was thinking that the 16 would feel like an 18, 18 would feel like a 20, but in actuality, this blazer is not oversized. So if you're eyeballing this, definitely get your correct size. Do not downsize in this blazer. So I just paired it with a yellow slip dress. I've had this slip dress for a while from Fashion Nova and I also paired it with my Coach Low Line Luxe sneakers that I've had for a while. So this is how I would wear, this is one of the ways that I would wear this blazer. So how do you guys feel about this look? You can always dress this up with some boots. I think this will look cute with my white slouchy boots. I think this will look cute with a pair of snakeskin print boots. So I just want to give you guys like a different look because I always show you guys looks with heels. And I do have a bunch of tennis shoes, but I just never give you guys like sneaker looks. So I want to give you guys a look that you could do with sneakers because white trainers are never going out of style. Like they will always be on trend so this is a way that you can still be chic and elevated and do sneakers in the spring okay guys let's get into the next so i want to show you guys what the blazer looks like with the olive pants i paired it with one of those express body suits in the shade basil i kept on the sneakers because i know some people like this look with trainers a blazer and some tapered slacks so i want to give you guys that so this is kind of like it's not monochromatic but it's in the same color family like the mint the basil and this olive color so it's a little color blocking a little monotone and this is how it looks with trainers so you could do this look as well this is another like on trend spring look. And if you are interested in the express bodysuits, I will link it below along with the video that I did on the bodysuits because like I said, if you're new, these don't give you compression. Um, they do give you the silhouette of a skimmed bodysuit like the racer back, but it doesn't compress you. Um, I would recommend that you size down. I have them in a extra large. So for them to fit a little tighter, I would say do a large even possibly a medium because medium because they're super stretchy um but they do not compress but they are a good basic to have in your wardrobe okay so how do you guys feel about this look and then of course you could do this blazer with some jeans right that's the obvious so let's get into okay. So this is the next look. I picked up this denim blazer from Eloquy. So in total, I got three blazers from Eloquy and one blazer from H&M. So we got the mint blazer, the old blazer, denim blazer from Eloquy. I also got this blazer in 18. Now this blazer came out back in the fall. I have been eyeballing it, but again, Eloquy in their <laughs> pictures, don't be giving the things. My boo, my uh, other style twin, she picked up the denim blazer. She sent me the video of her in the blazer and I was like, I have to have it. So this blazer has no stretch. So get your size. I got this in the 18. It has thick shoulder padding, which I like if you're apple shaped like me and you have really broad shoulders. You're gonna love the blazer because how structured it is. It looks like it's tailored. So definitely get your size. But how do you guys feel about this in a blazer? So I decided to pair it with my white bodysuit. Now this one is from Zara. This one is in a large. Also, if you're my size, a little bit bigger, you can fit the Zara bodysuits. Large is the largest size. These ones give you compression and it's double lined. The express ones are not 
yeah, those are not double lined. So <clears throat> I paired it with the camo paints and my white mules. You guys have seen me style these camo paints a bunch of times, but I wanted to show you guys that camo paints, either they could be like a little intimidating. You can really work these through your wardrobe. I've styled these so many ways for you guys on here, but getting to this blazer. like it's giving all the tailored things so this is how it looks button up so it's more of a relaxed fit i wouldn't recommend going up a size in this blazer wearing it oversized because it's denim and you want it to look a little bit more tailored and relaxed fit on you so definitely get your size How do you guys feel about the blazer? Now, I haven't tried this look, but I'm thinking this could be a thing. Let's see. Now, this is like really edgy. But you guys know red and green go together. So this is more so like a street fashion look. I would wear this. I would wear this. So how do you guys feel about the cardigan with the army pants? Okay, hey guys, we have one more item in this whole slash styling video. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so I saved the best for last. I picked up the Hanifa cardigan, the infamous Maya knit cardigan. You guys, first of all, I wanted the purple one, but the purple one be sounding like hotcakes. And then I want to say on February the 4th, I got the notification that she was dropping a Valentine's cardigan, which is this one, the pink one. So as soon as I got the notification, I ran on over to Hanifa, ain't think about it, clicked it, got it. Now, this cardigan is giving everything, okay? Everything. I'm only 5'3". It drags the foot. It drags the foot even if you're tall. So I would say be mindful if you're short, you know, how you're walking because it does drag. I love it. This is how I have it cuffed up because the sleeves are super, super long. I will unroll the sleeves so you guys can see how long it is. The largest size is a large slash extra large, which is what I have. And I want to say probably up to a three four x you could probably fit this cardigan let me put this down so i can give you guys the things let me give you guys one more spin before i open it for you guys it's the dramatics for me <laughs> okay so it comes with this tie knit belt it does have belt loops you can take this off and also belt it with your regular belt so this is how roomy this is okay i can wrap it all the way around and this is like a stretchy knit so that's what i'm saying i think up to like a four x maybe a little bit bigger i'll probably get into this and then this is how long the sleeves are. So you have to cuff this unless your arms are super, super long. And it's a nice weight. It's not as heavy as my um, 
Zara knit coat that had like the built-in collar. It's not as heavy as that, but it is a nice weight. Also, you want to be mindful of the tassels because you will lose a few. Like when I was just walking through the house with it on when I first got it, I had like little pink threads all over the dead one place. So you will lose a few tassels, but that's fine. So I have it linked down below, but she also has like a dark, like a great purple, um, green, like the Bottega green, mustard, orange, red, black, and gray and i think teal is all the colors so i know i believe they're all on pre-order right now i think they're supposed to ship out the first or second week of march just check it out and go to the site the link will be below so how do you guys feel you also can wear this as a dress i would say if you're going to wear this as a dress that I would highly recommend that you put maybe like um a cat suit under like the short one um just in case <laughs> this comes undone but I would say wear a statement belt instead of this um just for more security but that's the versatility of it it's a knit cardigan dress so you can do a lot with this so you guys we have made it to the end of our huge spring haul slash styling video hope you guys enjoyed the video i love you guys and so next time we have a um zara haul coming up next i got some new in spring pieces from zara and then after that we're going to get into my styling satin and where i purchased satin pieces from i did pick up some satin pieces in the zara haul so you guys will see that in that video but then to the next one bye y'all love y'all happy sunday